letting our state legislature, and thank you, Representative Peters, for your efforts. Uh, but we have to continue letting all of our legislature at the state and federal level know that it's not acceptable. Uh, that there are other alternatives and there are other energy sources that we can turn to. And yes, we've made that pledge here in St. Petersburg and we want to challenge all other governments to join us uh, in becoming 100% renewable. Secretary of the Interior, Zinke, has talked about that he is going to reverse orders by the Obama administration and open our coast to air gun blasting off of the Atlantic and the Eastern Gulf of Mexico, right off of here. What does that mean? It means that oil exploration ships will drag these sonic blasters that blast compressed air into the Gulf from the surface and go all the way down to the ocean's floor that can be heard by dolphins and whales and other sea critters 2,500 miles away. Those blasts are 10 se every 10 seconds, 24 hours a day. All right? That will kill our dolphins and our whales. It will disrupt our marine life. It will disrupt our fisheries. With all the other impacts from climate change that are taking place, we cannot allow this to happen. But the Trump administration is, is, is pledging to do this by executive order without going to Congress for legislation. I'm asking all of you to contact your members of Congress, Democrats and Republicans alike, tell them to stop this. This is the first step toward offshore drilling, but it's worse because it will be killing our secret is right now. 